Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL week five preview between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Philadelphia. When I look at the Philadelphia Eagles going against the Steelers offense, I look at the secondary. They're going to have to cover those speed guys in Antonio Brown and Mike Wallace. But I really want to focus on the outside linebackers, Akeem Jordan and also Michael Kendricks. Those guys are going to have to be vital in stopping the power plays. The Steelers love to pull their guards, get those guys on the outside, get those guys on the move. Those outside linebackers have to set the edge versus the running game in order to have a chance versus Pittsburgh. Now you look at the offensive side of the football, they will try to move the Sean Jackson along the formation, get him in many different spots to create an advantage but really it's the running game and I love the way the Eagles run off tackle so let's go inside the lab to take a look at how they're able to accomplish this week in week out. The Philadelphia Eagles have one of the more creative running games in the league. I'm a big fan of how they run off tackle. And I'm going to show you how they get that done and it seems like it works every time. It's simple football guys. You don't block the outside defensive man who's trained to get after the quarterback and fly a field and also keep contained. So this is how they block their off tackle running play with LaShawn McCoy. They do not block the defensive end. This tackle, I mean, sorry, this tight end will run up to go get the strong safety. Now you have this tackle pretty much fanning this guy, baiting this guy to come in. They leave this guy also unblocked because that's the fullbacks guy. And that's where they bend this run right here. And Vic does a great job of making everything look the same. And if you make everything look the same, the defense can't tell whether it's whether it's a pass or a run. But this is how really this is really how they run their off tackle, which is why it's so effective because it looks just like their play action pass, and you have the tight end releasing, and this guy is showing pass protection type of blocking, which influences this defensive end to come downhill, which leaves the hole open for Lashawn McCoy. Now let's move over to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think the interior linebackers, Lawrence Timmons and also Larry Foote, they're going to be vital this week. They have to step up and fill gaps, not only in the running game versus LaShawn McCoy, but also against Michael Vick. You don't want Vick to scramble up and take off. Those guys will have to fill those gaps. Gap responsibility is key and also stopping the underneath routes. And I look at Troy Palomalo, his possible return should help that defense get back to its playmaking ways. Playing him close to the line of scrimmage is a win for this Steelers defense. Now offensively, I look at Ben Roethlisberger being able to have some success throwing the football versus the Eagles secondary. So let's go inside the lab to see how they can attack the wide nine with a quick passing game. We all know about the Eagles wide nine defense, and I'm gonna show you how the Steelers can attack that wide nine defense with the quick passing game. When we talk about wide nine, we talk about the techniques of the defensive ends. That's why we got those guys boxed off, boxed off in that nine technique, that wide nine technique, which puts a lot of pressure on the strong safety in the back of the make tackle. So how they can attack these guys with the quick passing game, we see we put Mike Wallace or Antonio Brown right here. You want to get the football in guys' hands quickly so they can make one miss. You also have the return of Rashard Mendenhall you can put in the backfield. And we're talking about, let's say, for the flare route. Let's say we want to utilize the running back in the quick passing game. You have him flaring out this way. You want to get this tight end working up to go and block this cornerback making it seem like he's going on the out route wide receiver works up to go block that strong safety this guy influence blocks him and that way you you leave the running back one-on-one -on -one with that backer and that's the situation where this guy probably will lose that battle or if you want to you see how we have it drawn up you can easily get this guy working this way and work the quick passing game the quick slants and you can still have an advantage of getting the football in the hands of the big playmakers quickly so I think if the Steelers utilize the quick passing game, it'll put them in position to defeat the wide nine defense. Let's take a look at the personnel breakdown in this matchup. And you can see these two Keystone State rivals have a lot of similarities. The Eagles have the advantage on the offensive line and the Pittsburgh Steelers have the advantage in the special teams aspect. One of those two factors will be the key determinant in this ball game. My X factor for the Steelers has to be the return of Rashad Mendenhall. He has an explosiveness out of the back can also help you out in the pass game. So getting him back is huge for this offense. My X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles has to be the defensive line. Keeping Ben Roethlisberger boxed in in the pocket is your best chance to beat the Steelers. So this defensive line has to come up huge this week. 
I'm going with the Eagles in this matchup. Their explosiveness out of the backfield in the passing game gives them a chance week in, week out. And I think defensively, they will do a great job of keeping Roethlisberger boxed in and making plays. And I think right now their defense is playing on a higher level and will cause a lot of problems for what the Steelers want to do offensively. I want to give a huge shout out to the Steeler fan and also Eagle fan forums for always showing football game plan support.